Three, let's get to some breaking news now. Several flights in our area held on their runways uh, for several hours overnight. We're talking no bathrooms, no chargers, and for some, even no medicine. This all happened at Reagan National Airport overnight. As Annie said, our Matt Gregory has been following this for us, working to get answers. He joins us now in studio. Matt, I know you spoke to one of those passengers affected. Yeah, Tony, around two this morning, we got several phone calls from passengers sitting on planes at Reagan National that landed hours ago, but still hadn't deplaned yet. They described the frustration and the panic, how a simple one hour flight turned into a nightmare. I'm tired, hungry, definitely hungry. And I'm just really annoyed. Around three o'clock Monday morning, airline passenger Mary L. Cordy finally walked off American Airlines flight 5197. And so we landed around 1150 finally in D.C., basically six hours later, again for an hour flight. Uh, and then we were stuck on the tarmac. By phone, she explained what she says happened. Around midnight, flight 5197, which had already been delayed for several hours, landed at D.C.A. But instead of deplaning, they just sat there. Fairly patient the first like hour and a half. But then patients ran out. There was a person who needed like their medication. Bathroom stopped working towards hour two and then the charging the chargers didn't work like people can charge their phones from her window Mary could see other planes also sitting on the tarmac Mary says her fellow passengers called American Airlines got no answers some even called 911 still no answers people just started getting fed up and angry eventually after three hours of sitting on the ground flight 5197 pulled into the gate and Mary and her fellow passengers finally got out. It was just very frustrating because um, most of us have work tomorrow, you know. Now at this hour, we're seeing delays and cancellations for passengers trying to leave DCA as well. Now we've reached out to American Airlines and to Reagan National for comment. Neither has responded, but guys, we're staying on top of this this morning. And uh, we did get a response from American Airlines media department that said they were sorry they could not get back to us right now with a response. So we don't wow. really know. The no, it, it looks like um, it's a combination. Obviously, we had severe weather, right. but uh, when, from when talking to other folks on the flight, they say that they were told by the pilots and by the flight attendants that there was some issue with staffing That's at right. DCA. Yeah. So we're looking into that and we will get answers yeah. to that. But right now, we haven't had a response yet from either. Okay. Right. What a pain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. Keep us posted.